In this video, let's talk about dividend yield. Let me list down a couple of stocks, not the entire market, but a couple of stocks and compare them which among those stocks have higher dividend yields as well. And I'll try to see you also and I'll try to analyze it in a way that this one could give you dividends plus also the ability to give you capital appreciation. So if you want to see the list of stocks in terms of dividend yield, check this video out. Hi everyone, this is Marvin Germo. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and smash that bell so you get updated every time I come up with new content about the stock market, every time I come up with new content which will help you reach your goals of financial freedom. So enjoy the rest of the video. So guys, over the past few days, weeks, and months, uh, I, I've been getting your questions and one common question that I normally get, and even in the comment section, oh, is can you give me a list of dividends and their dividend yield? So what I have right now, this is just an initial list. I'm going to make more uh, depending on how you want it. So just comment, I want more dividend yield, and I'll try to make more of it as well. So this is an initial list based on what I got first, and I'll try to just expand it. So I'm going to rank it in terms of dividend yield. What I'm going to do is this. Since 2019 is over, they already have their 2019 disclosures of the dividends. So what I'm going to do is, scenario is based on the price at the end of the year, what's the dividend yield assuming they maintain their dividends for 2020, assuming that they increase it by 10% for 2020, assuming they increase it by 20% for 2020, or assuming that they drop it by 10%, or assuming worst case scenario, they drop it by half for 2020 as well. What will be your yield? So this is these are for people who want to make money off dividends. These are for people who want to earn. Uh, please remember, I've been saying this over and over, that the goal for dividends is if you buy a stock with dividend yield, even if the market crashes, but as long as the fundamentals are good, and as long as they're earning, they could still give you the same amount of yield as well. So these are for people who are passive, not really for traders, but for people who want to earn money from uh, just getting dividends as well. So if you want to know more about it, comment. I want more, and we're going to proceed to the next part of the video. So here we go. Here's the ranking of stocks that give out dividends for 2020. Please remember, out of the 200 plus stocks in the PSE. I did not go through every stock out there. These are just 50 stocks. There might be some stocks that have higher dividends than this. I'll try to include them on the next video. But please remember this also part of my filter is automatic companies that are not making money are not part of this. Companies that did not give out dividends in 2019 are not part of the list as well. Of course, you do not want to buy a company with dividends that they're, if they're not consistent in giving out their dividends on a yearly basis, you don't want something like that as well. You also don't want companies that are losing money because it removes the predictability of earnings. As what I've said over and over and over and over, the name of the game if you want to make money over the long term is you want to buy stocks with dividends that are recurring but not just that. You want their income to be recurring as well. What I did by the way also is I rank them from 50 all the way up meaning also if you are a person who wants to make money off dividends the higher the dividend yield the better and i created scenarios as what i've mentioned on the top of the video i created that what if they just maintain the same amount of dividends for 2020 what would be your, your yield i also created a framework that what if they increase it by 10 percent what if they increase it by 20 percent or let's try to go the, the more pessimistic route what if their dividends get slashed by 10% or what if their dividends get slashed by half as well so that at least you have uh, you can you can at least uh, filter it out what if something bad happens and then their uh, earnings are not as good and the dividends also would not be as good as well so you can at, you can at least project how much yield you could possibly get if something bad happens. By the way, shout out to Carlo Ople. Uh, we were talking a lot about dividends and he was so interested about uh, dividend yield and the, the dividends that companies would give. That's why I decided to make this video as well. So let's proceed. If you guys are excited, comment, I'm excited. Comment, continue with the video and I'll just continue. So let's, let's go. So this will be from 50 all the way up. Number 50, GT Capital. 
uh, dividend yield of 0.35, JG Summit 0.46. Please remember, JG Summit, the reason why the yield is also down because the stock has, has moved up as well. Please remember, the formula for dividend yield basically states that the higher the stock price you buy it, the lower your yield will be. So that's what happened to JG Summit. The fact that the stock has massively moved up for 2019, it significantly hit its gains. Uh, Mega wide 0.73, BDO 0.76, Security Bank 0.77, SM Prime 0.83, SMC 0.85, SM 0.87. As you've noticed it as well, the ones that have been historically low in giving out their dividends are still at the bottom of the pile. You see SMC, you see SM Prime, you see BDO, and you see uh, SM, SMI, SM Investments. So the C, Henry C Group normally uh, would give you very, very low dividends. Then, uh, Robinson's Retail Holdings 0.9, uh, STR 1, 1%, Ayala Corp 1.06, JFC 1.19, uh, Phoenix Petroleum 1.26, uh, Bloom 1.33. Please remember, uh, dividends like this, I'm not too interested about uh, their dividends. I'm more interested for their growth, especially for companies that give me dividend dividends around below 1 or about around the 1% 1, 1 level. So Bloom is 1.33, IMI is 1.34, Metro Bank is 1.51, Mega World is 1.75. Uh, the reason why, normally uh, Mega World's uh, dividends is historically low. One of the reasons why it's 1.75 now because please remember Mega World stock, pri stock price has dropped and the lower the stock price, the higher the yield that you will possibly get. RLC 1.81, another way to analyze this if you are a person who wants to dabble into property investing, into real estate stocks, and you are comparing companies, one way to look at it is Mega World versus RLC. RLC will give you a higher dividend yield than Mega World. Especially, and this is so significant, especially if you're, um, you're, your capital is larger, you know, the larger your capital, the larger your returns will be, especially if we're looking at dividends. Next, uh, Pure Foods 1.88, Pure Gold 2.01, FEU 2.02, Nickel Asia 2.06. Uh, then you have URC 2.17. URC is interesting because the stock price of URC, as similar to JG Summit, similar to Cebu Pacific, has gone up for 2019, and it's at 2.17 in spite of it having a, a move up already. FGen is at 2.28, LTG is at 2.5. Aboitis Equity Ventures at 2.56, CEU at 2.82, FEU at 2.9, DNL at 3.01, BPI at 3.07, MPI at 3.16. Please remember MPI at 3.16, uh, one of the reasons why this is relatively higher, MPI doesn't really give uh, relatively high dividends, but the stock price, please remember, has dropped massively from where it was uh, at the start of 2019 to where it was when the, when the year closed. Uh, kudos to those who were able to buy MPI when it was below 3. Your yield is definitely higher. Union Bank, 3.29%. And this is what I want to submit to a lot of people. Please remember this. If you buy, if you put your money in time deposits of Union Bank, it will give you interest rates lower than 1%. If you put it in savings account, it will give you 0.2%. Uh, interest if you believe in if you believe so much in union bank that's why you're putting your money in there you trust that the company you trust that the bank will be there for a very long period of time then why not instead of just buying or putting your money in savings accounts and getting 0.2 percent in union bank why not just buy the company and get 3.29 percent it's just the same thing the fact that you're making more money from uh from the from in, the fact that you believe in the company is the very reason that you're putting your money in their bank. The fact that you believe in the company, why not just buy the company itself and get 3.29% plus the ability of capital appreciation. So STI, 3.33%. Then you have Vistalan at 3.42%, ICT at 3.89%, ROS Rock at 4.07%, FLI at 4.12%, uh, FLI at 4.12%, Avoid is Power. These are the ones uh, normally at 13 up. Uh, you will see it. These are the ones that I've been mentioning over and over because historically, uh, majority of the stocks that are in this category pretty much have very, very high dividend yields. Avoid is power, 4.3%. Globe, 4.5%. Call, 4.61%. PSE, 5%. Meralco, 5.07%. Shangri-La, 5.48%. Semerara, 5.68%. DMC, 7.26%. Uh, this already factors in that the stock, the stock has pretty much dropped. Uh, for the year. Uh, for those who bought it lower, your yields would have been higher as well. 
PLDT 7.29, Cebu Pacific 7.82, GMA 7 8.44%, Manila Water 8.79. Please remember, this is under the fact that uh, Manila Water has dropped. Also, for those who who were looking at it at the start of the year, Manila Water's price was above 20. That means your yield would have been a below 4%. For those who bought it above around 5-6 pesos, your dividend yield would have been massively higher. Then my all-time favorite, and I've been saying this over and over again, SPC. It's, please remember, SPC stock price has moved up already. It's one of the best performing stocks in terms of capital appreciation. I made a video about this, but the dividend yield of SPC is still 13.43%. That's how good the company is. That's how amazing the company is in terms of, in terms of dividend yield. So, this is under the context that the dividend of 2019 will still remain the same for 2020. Now, let's get a bit more optimistic. Let's say that next year or 2020, uh, they will increase their dividends by uh, by at least 10%. So, are you guys ready? Are you guys excited? Comment. I'm excited if you want to see and proceed to the next one. If you want to see how the company has increased its dividend, if the company increase, it would increase its dividends by 10% for the year, how would it affect the stocks that you would have? If you're excited about it, comment. I'm excited and I'll proceed. Just a quick plug, by the way, uh, for all of this. Now, before I continue, uh, the next set of seminars that I have will be uh, for... 2020, I will be in Taiwan this February. I will then we will have Stock Smarts Manila this March. Then we will have uh, London this April. Then in May I'll be in Singapore. Then June I'll be in Auckland, New Zealand. New Zealand. Then November our normal Stock Smarts UAE. I'll be in Dubai. So all of the details for this will be in the description below. If you want to join us, just put the city, comment the city that you want to join, and I'll send you details for it. But for one, for those that want to see the registration link, they're all in the description below. And I, and I hope that you guys enroll. I hope that you guys also be part of Filipinos who are interested about learning about trading the markets with confidence. So looking forward to see you guys there. Now let's continue. Number 50, GT Capital, same, 0.39. Uh, JG Summit please remember the order from uh, the previous slide to where we are now will be the same but the difference lang is their yields are increasing say they continue JG Summit 0.5 Megawai 0.81 PDO 0.84 Security Bank 0.85 SM Prime 0.91 SMC 0.94 SM uh, 0.96 RHI 0.91 uh, STR 1.11, AC 1.16, JFC 1.31, Phoenix Petroleum 1.38, Bloom 1.46, IMI 1.47, Metro Bank 1.66, uh, Mega World 1.92, RLC 2, uh, Pure Foods 2.07, Pure Gold 2.21, FEU 2.21, uh, Nickel Asia 2.27, URC 2.39, 2. then you have FGEN. FGEN at 2.51, LTG at 2.75, AE, Aboitis Equity Ventures 2.82, uh, CEU at CEU at 3.1, FPH at 3.19, DNL at 3.31, BPI at 3.38, MPI at 3.40, uh, 3.48, Union Bank at 3.62, STI at 3.67. Vistaland at 3.77, ICT at 4.28. As you can see, no, as it starts to increase by at least 10%, you, you now see the yields become more as attractive as ever. SPC, of course, will still be the highest at 14.77. Manila Water at 9.66, GMA 7 at 9.29, Cebu Pacific at 8.6, PLDT at 8, DMC at 7.99, Semirara at 6.25, Shangri-La at 6, Meralco at 5.57, and the PSE at 5.5. 53%. Now, let's be more optimistic naman. Let's say they increase it instead of just increasing the dividends by 0.1. Meaning, when I say they increase it by 0.1, it means that uh, their dividends for 2019 is 10 pesos. Increasing it by 0.1, it means that by 2020, they will be giving 11. And if I'm just being optimistic, what if they increase it by 20%, meaning from 10? Instead of giving 10, they're going to give 12. So that's what we're going to look at for the next slide. I hope you guys are still with me. Comment below if you're still with me. Comment below if you're still learning. I hope that this becomes your reference point also for the year. Every time you'd like to look back on rankings in terms of dividends, I hope that you see this as well. Please remember also, um, before I continue, Manila Water, uh, MPI, DMC, the ones that have risk in terms of... Uh, what could happen in the water concession? This could 
uh, basically hit uh, the yield of this stock, especially if uh, their their earnings will be hit uh, for the next for the next few years as well. But for those who'd like to dabble into this because of what they earned from 2019. Uh, by all means do so but please remember if any of the fundament underlying fundamentals would change please remember that the dividends also may change as well so let's look at let's start uh 20 increase gt cap 0.43 jg summit 0.55 mega wide 0.88 bdo 0.91 security bank 0.92 sm prime 1 smc 1.02 sm 1.05 rhi 1.08 str 1.21 ac 1.27 jfc 1.43 i'm not sure if you uh, know the logic of why i'm doing this the logic of why i'm doing this is basically if you buy at the end of 2019 and then they just increase their dividends by 20 it would significantly make your yields much 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 higher as well uh Phoenix Petroleum 1.43, Bloom 1.59, IMI 1.6, Metro Bank 1.81, Mega World 2.09, RLC 2.18, uh, Pure Foods 2.26, Pure Gold 2.42, uh, FEU 2.43, Nickel Asia 2.48, URC 2.61, FGen 2.73, LTG 3.01, AEV 3.08, then CEU uh 3.39 fp fph 3.48 dnl 3.61 bpi 3.69 mpi 3.79 union bank 3.95 sti 4 vista land 4.11 ict 4.67 comment this is helpful if this is something that's helping you as well uh our rock 4.89 fill invest uh 4.94 avoid this power 5.16 glow 5.41 Call Financial 5.54, PSE 6%, Meralco 6.08, Shangri-La, Shangri-La 6.5, Semerara SEC uh, at 6.82, DMC 8.71, PLDT 8.74, Cebu Pacific 9.31, JMA 7 10.13, Manila Water 10.54, and SPC 16.12. Please remember also Phoenix and Cebu Pacific pretty much are... Are, would get hit depending on what happens to the price of oil so if oil prices are higher this would damage Cebu Pacific's earnings hence damaging its dividends if oil prices are higher this would be good for Phoenix as they get to have higher margins as well now uh, let's get a bit more pessimistic this next slide is showing you that what if the dividends uh, would drop by at least 10% so you would see that you would see GT cap uh, you would see that this normally doesn't hit the dividend yield as much as uh dropping by 10% from from where we were in 2019 to 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 2020 just dropping by 10% the dividends would normally just stay uh at almost the same level but what if i want to be a bit more pessimistic now what if something bad happens to the company or what if the earnings get hit that instead of it dropping by 10% let's assume that it drops by 50%. Are you guys ready? Comment, I'm ready if you want to see it. So now, here's how it would look that if by 2020, these companies would drop the dividend yield by at least 50% or they would drop the dividend by at least 50%. Let's see. So that we, when that, if that happens, GT cap will be 0.18 and it's not worth getting into anymore. JG Summit 0.23, Megawide 0.37, BDO 0.38, Security Bank 0.38, SM Prime 0.42, SMC 0.43, SM 0.44, RHI 0.45, SDR 0.50, AC 0.53, Jollibee 0.60, which please remember for Jollibee earnings for 2019 is not as good, so there's a possibility that their dividends will be lower. Phoenix Petroleum 0.63, Bloom 0.66, IMI 0.67, Metro Bank 0.75, uh, Mega World 0.87, RLC 0.91, Pure Foods 0.94, Pure Gold 1.01, FEU 1.01, Nickel Asia 1.03, URC 1.09, FGen 1.14, LTG 1.25, Aboitis Equity Ventures 1.28, CEU 1.41, CEU 1 F FPH 1.45, DNL 1.51, BPI 1.54, MPI 1.58, Union Bank 1.65, STI 1.67, Vistaland 1.71, ICT 1.94, R Rock 2 percent FLI 2.04, Rock 2.04, FLI 2.06. Now the historical large, historically larger ones: Aboitis Power 2.15, Globe 2.25, 2.25. 
Call Financial 2.31, PSE 2.51, Meralco 2.53, Shangri-La 2.74, SCC 2.84, DMC uh, 3.63, Tel you have 3.64, Cebu Pacific 3.91, GMA 7 4.22, Manila Water 4.39, and SPC 6.72. So this is how it looks like if the dividends would drop by at least 50% for the year. Comment if I'm learning. Comment below if this is something that's helping you as well. So I hope you guys got a lot from this. I hope you guys learned a lot from this. I hope this is something that provided so much value and content for all of you. Because again, I've been saying this over and over and over and over. That's all I want. That's all That's all the uh, reason why we, I continue to make more than one video a day already. It's time for more Filipinos to get to know more about finance. It's time, it's time that we make uh, YouTube not just a place for entertainment. It's not just for politics. It's not just for uh, people gathering cheese mist. But I hope this channel creates a framework where you can win it, that you can reach your goals of financial freedom, that you can, uh, you have the ability to be able to make your money work hard for you. And I'll just keep on making content over and over and over and over because I believe you deserve better. I believe that 2020 will be your greatest year yet. So this is Marvin Germain. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all.